Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to control your computer with your iPhone or iPod Touch. And as you can see, uh, on my iPod Touch screen is the computer screen. And like, if I want to do something, let's say I press the Start menu, then there it is, and then it just came on right there. And then turn it off, and then it's off. And you know, you can do pretty much do anything, uh, go on the internet, stuff like that. And as a keyboard right there. And close the keyboard, you just press up there. And then here's like the menu to disconnect and everything. And as you can see, it's a gray background, but when you turn it, when you get off of your iPod on it, your background will come back. It's just when you're uh, viewing it on your iPod, for some reason the background goes away. And also, when you turn it, it'll change orientation, like that. And then one more cool thing about it is that you could zoom up, just like the Safari web browser. So just uh, do that to zoom in and then pinch your fingers together to zoom out. And then you can just like zoom around, tap on something to select it. And yeah, okay, so now I'm going to show you the steps of how to do that. So stay put. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is op go on your iPod and open up the App Store. And then go to search. And then search Mocha VNC. Light. And there it is, right there. So uh, press on it. And then there it is. So just uh, go on it. And uh, I suggest just installing the light version because it's free. You can pay for the full version, but I don't think it's worth it. So just get the light version for free. And then right there, install it. Right there. And as you can see, mine's already installed. So uh, once you install the Mocha VNC Lite app, then get, go on your computer and open up any internet browser and go to download.com and search Ultra Ultra VNC Yeah, Ultra VNC and I'll zoom up on it just to make sure you uh, know what it is. So Ultra VNC, and then scroll down, and it's that one. It's that one with the green eye right there. It's just this one right here. So click download now, and then save it anywhere. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop, and it'll take. Uh, a couple seconds to download. See, it's already done. So just uh, cause it's super small. So just then go find it, and then you're just gonna open it, and then you're gonna click run, and then you're gonna select English or whatever your language is. Mine is English, obviously. And then you're just gonna go through the steps and then install it. And mine's already installed. So just, uh, I'll just take you through stuff. So click I accept, and then just keep pressing next, and then next, and then, uh, full installation, and then, uh, you just don't select that. Uh, I don't even know what that does, but just keep it unselected. And I'm just gonna unselect that one too. And then what you want to do is you want to create Ultra VNC desktop icons. And then just uh, keep pressing next until you get to the install thing and then finally install it. And then, but once it's done you can just delete the uh, install file. And then you should have the icons on your desktop. So what you want to do is open up the Ultra VNC one. Oops, wrong one. Um, oh, I think this is it. Okay, so you want to open it up, and if this thing doesn't automatically come up, you should see a little thing up there, and right-click on it, and then click Ad Admin Properties, and then 
uh, what you want to do, you want to make a password so no one can uh, hack into your computer, so make a password, and, of course, I'm not going to tell you my password, and it has to be, I think, at least, like, uh, like, six characters or something, I'm not exactly sure, and then, uh, select allow loopback connections, and, I, uh, I also enabled Java Viewer, and then you could, uh, mess around with these over here if you want, and, uh, yeah. So then press OK. And then, uh, now finally you could go back on your iPod. And go find the, uh, Mocha VNC app. There it is right there. So just select it. Wait, I'm not sure if you saw it, so I'm going to go back for a second. So there it is, right there, the VNC app. So, uh, press on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to click connect, and then you're going to, uh, press, there's going to be a bunch of little blank things, like blank lines, and you're going to press on one, and then you're going to put in your computer's IP address, and to find that, all you do is go to the wireless up here, and you click on status, and then you go into support, and you'll be able to see your IP address and everything like that. And I'm not going to show you my IP address. But, so just do that, go to support, and then you'll see your IP address. And then, like I said, go to connect on your iPod, and then... Uh, press one of those blank little lines and fill out the IP address and fill in the password and then click press connect and then uh, you should get this and I'm going to skip to it so you don't see my IP address okay so if you did everything right and you typed in the right IP address and you typed in the right password then uh, it should work and you should ha be able to uh, do this and it should work for you so thanks youtubers for watching please feel free to rate comment and subscribe and uh, if you have any questions just comment on the video or send me uh, a message and uh, yeah so hope this works for all of you and thanks youtubers bye